Ghana is now in the final stage of starting space exploration. I'm pleased to announce that the national space policy has been approved by cabinet and this policy serves as a framework for utilizing space science and technology to drive our national development. Yes, Ghana has to be there. Space, science, technology. We have to be in space. This man is called Dr. Kweku Efriye. He is the Ghanaian minister responsible for environment, science, technology and innovation. And according to him, Ghana is going to benefit a lot from this space exploration ambition. As for the benefits, so much. Let me start from the benefit. Right now, Ghana consumes a lot of data, and ministry sectors have, have all sorts of arrangements with entities who provide data which use this space technology. There is no coordination, and we are not even getting good for, uh, uh, value for money. So, if we scan around and we have this policy and embedded in it, uh, guidelines as to how we are going to even get access data. Look, this gadget was known to mobile phone. Was what Neil Armstrong and others used when they were speaking, when they set foot on the moon. But it used to be a military secret until Americans saw that no more and then became commercial. Now I can do e farming from my farm even now in real time so all the point we are saying is that the benefits we have to get a policy which will guide how we will get a benefit so in today's video we would like to share with you everything about space travel or space exploration and the importance of ghana space travel to ghana and the african continent but before we start everything please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to this channel for more videos like this thank you very much for your massive support now let's dive into it so this is how our world looks like. Outside this world is what we call outer space. We simply know this outer space as space. It is the expanse that exists beyond our Earth and Earth atmosphere and between celestial bodies. Outer space is home to a vast array of celestial objects including stars, planets, moon, asteroids, comets and galaxies. It is also the region where most of the known matter in the universe universe is concentrated. Human have been exploring outer space for over 60 years. The first human space flight was in the year 1961 by a Russian called Yuri Gagarin who became the first person to orbit the Earth. Since then, only a few hundred of people have traveled to space. But the number is now increasing because space travel is becoming more affordable and accessible. And there is a growing interest in space tourism and satellite telecommunication. There are many reasons why space travel is important to humanity because it allows us to explore our solar system and learn more about our planet in the universe. It can also be used to develop new technologies technologies that can benefit humanity. For example, space exploration has led to the development of new materials, medical treatments and telecommunication technology that we are using today. This is why most developed countries do not joke with space travel. Developed countries like United States, China, Russia, European Union and India are just a few countries benefiting from space travel. Some private companies like SpaceX, which is owned by Elon Musk and Blue origin are just a few of some private companies that are involved in space travel today. The space industry is rapidly growing and becoming affordable. So because space exploration is a global enterprise and it provides benefits to people all over the world, Ghana now wants to venture into space exploration too. And the Ghanaian minister responsible for environment, science, technology and innovation, Dr. Kweku Efriye is here to tell us more about this. I'm pleased to announce that the national space policy has been approved by cabinet and this policy serves as a framework for utilizing space science and technology to drive our national development. Yes, Ghana has to be there. Space, science, technology. We have to be in space. Not by way of constructing our own space, 
scraps and whatnot. But we have to leverage on that technology because we can ascend that through commercial means and you know, you know, aligning you know, with other people who have the technological know-how. We can go there and then use the technology to develop our country very fast. Mercy is collaborating with several ministries and the private sector to establish the Ghana Space Agency. This agency will coordinate the development of human capital infrastructure and overall growth of the space science sector. Under the Ghana Korea K Innovation Partnership Program, for example, we have unveiled a comprehensive 10 year master plan to enhance the commercialization of research and innovation in our country. He also outlined some benefits Ghana can derive from space travel. As for the benefits, it's so much. Let me start from the benefits. Right now, Ghana consumes a lot of data, and ministry sectors are have all sorts of arrangements with entities who provide data which use this space technology. There is no coordination and we are not even getting good for, uh, uh, value for money. So if we scan around and we have this policy and embedded in it are uh, guidelines as to how we are going to even get access data. Let me say that space does not necessarily mean that we are going to put Ghana, uh, uh, I want to claim our own local name, onto this thing. That is for the optics. Look, this gadget was known to mobile phone. Was what Neil Armstrong and others used when they were speaking, when they set foot on the moon. But it used to be a military secret until Americans saw that no more, and then became commercial. Now I can do e farming from my farm, even now in real time. So all the point we are saying is that the benefits we have to get a policy which will guide how we will get a benefit. As for the thing about putting people, uh, you know, people on the moon, yes, Ghana can negotiate. We can have one, two, or three bright young people that we've been to space before. That is not the main aim. So when you talk about space, it's not about putting people there. It could be part of it. Why not? UAE has sent people into space. Small country, they have money. So if you have money, we can put people into space. We, we either rent a place, either on a Russian vehicle, or who is that private man? Uh, Elon Musk. Yeah, that half American, half African. <laughs> Yeah, so you can. So that one is, is not, neither here nor there. Even we are going to have space tourism, so we don't have to get a, cosmon, a cosmonaut or uh, an astronaut. So that is that. And that is all for today's episode. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section below. My name is Sharif Haruna. Have a joyful life and see you in our next video. Makrao.